Joel. We're live here with uh, Pemberton Fish Finder on Friday Night Flies. Um, ben and I are going to be tying up some flies for you tonight. Tonight I'm going to tie up a super hair UV minnow. Um, it's uh, going to be a really cool pattern. It's uh, using a UV light and UV resin. They're very, very, very cool. Shine the light at us. Yeah, that's UV light. UV light. This is a very, a very, very small light. I'm on a low budget, so I can only afford one light. This is a low budget environment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We so kill it here with no dollars. That's right. We kill it with no dollars. We need some corporate sponsorship dollars. Yeah. So we can get a, a big, UV a big light. light. Yeah. We that's need right. something that we gotta have support for. That's right. <laughs> okay. We'll just mount it permanently in here. Yeah, it can stay. Okay. So, okay, so here we go. The oh, super hair. Look where we're at. Look where we're at. So you can see. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, that's better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Super hair UV metal. Super hair. Black, white, green, and blue. And, and and you can use you can use whatever you want. Like there's all sorts of colors. I put a little bit of red in there. I put I've got some uh, peachy stuff. I put that in there. Um, they're all really, really cool. Um, SLF Hanks Multicolor Smolt Blue. It's just a really long um, dubbing fiber, long and straight, which works well for doing uh, for doing uh, minnows. Tape Eyes GSB White Thread. GSB is a really, really strong thread. It's really expensive too, but it's good for doing stuff like this. Anything that you need lots of strength. A size 6 streamer, 4 times long. Crazy glue, holographic tinsel, and UV knot sense. Okay, that's it. Done. Okay, so let's get started and get this get this uh, on the way. We're gonna go with uh, just put down a little bit of thread. Oh Jesus! Oh, no swearing. Yeah, pardon your French. Didn't have it in there. That's what she said. Jesus is not a swear, but blessed name. Hey, we're coming in clear HD tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! HD. Oh, I can see that little bit of hair on your chin tonight. Put it that way. Okay. We sent a, a letter to the Google themselves on my G Plus saying, "Hey, we can't tie flies at 360. We need some HD." We don't spend a bunch of money on a camera, and it's still recording like I was broadcasting from my uh, from my laptop. Okay, so we're gonna tie on the tinsel. Just wrap that down the thread just because I want to have it um, on there really securely. And cut that off. And then we will put that, tuck that nice and neat there. And then we're going to wrap this back up. And we're going to tie in our dubbing. And it it's just long and straight. So uh, I'm gonna take. I have too much there for sure. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it. See how it's really wispy. I'm gonna tie it in. Uh, there we go. We got a few spectators here tonight, Scotty. I know. I just noticed that. Yeah. Famous. Maurice and Jen just walked in. Come on over here. You guys can watch. It's cool. Probably seen your dad do this every once in a while at home, I bet, eh? Come on, really? He, like, locks himself in his little man cave time flies. Sometimes, right? He's you got a man? The one thing about sitting on there is the camera's there, right? So the more you sit on it, the more it's shaky. Okay, so we're going to just wrap this, being careful. Not to break it. It's pretty fragile stuff, eh? Yeah. I noticed you brought in a pretty sweet vice today. It's making you tie a whole lot better, isn't it? Oh, it's so nice. It looks like the Audi of vices. It is. It's a Renzetti. It's an American-made vice. This guy's been tying for... As you were saying earlier, we're on a budget. You spent all your money on the vice, didn't you? <laughs> Hey, you can't blame them. We all have our vices. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm trying to concentrate over here, okay? The cheese. Okay, so 
and and the reason I like this long stuff is that it's really easy. You can just tie it down lightly, back up lightly, boom, you're, you're there. Okay. And then we're going to do our, uh, actually, before we do this, we're going to put on a little half inch. Lock it down. It's always a good idea. Yeah, it's always a good idea just cause, because you don't want to have it break and unravel to the point of no return. Definitely an artist there, Scotty. That pattern already looks good, and all you've done is put some tinsel on that thing. Okay, so we get that off there. We lock that down. Make sure it's not going anywhere. And then I don't think I left it enough. What are you using there, Scotty? Just a. Uh, Maybe show them what you're using. Your daughter. Yeah, it's just a it's just a piece of Velcro on a popsicle stick. Yeah, man, I'll tell you, it works. Who made like that? that? Who made that? You made your little one at home. Yeah, we both made it. Crafty. Grace and I. Okay, Very and then crafty. so what we have is we have the super hair, which is this stuff here. Super hair, beautiful stuff. In different colors, and uh, yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like when you cut it. Like I just cut off pieces, and then. What you do is you just take a little bit of each and you mix it up. I like white and black mostly. And I try to keep it similar to the fish's pattern, you know, like the and a little bit of green. I love white and black. I like a little bit of green. And you got every color that's deadly. Every color. It's good to stay with the colors of the, the rainbow. The spectrum. And you find that certain depths, that certain colors work better. But in this case, we got them all. Yeah, we just mix it in. You got any red in there? No red. No red. No red. I should have a little bit of red in there. You know, even if just a little bit of red at the head or skirt or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> well, what I could do. That's okay. We'll just go with what we got there and then. We can tell people what, what other things you can do to it to make it a little fancier or less fancy. Or don't want too many of these fibers. They're pretty. They're pretty bulky. Okay. And this is why the thread is really useful because you, you can like just anchor, crank it yeah. you can just crank it down it just doesn't it doesn't move that's the Hulk Hogan of threads you were saying the that's Hulk Brock. Hogan of threads yes Brock Lesnar <laughs> <laughs> well, the Brock. The warrior doesn't get any mess. well he's pretty old he's damn old well Maybe. I guess Hulk, Hulk Hogan he's pretty old too <laughs> Iron Man how about that we'll, we'll to all your new tires and oh my gosh, you got all sorts of things hanging around, doing crazy stuff. That's a killer pattern. Do you weight the head or? Um, no, this one is going to be thrown with a sinking tip. Nice. And when you put the the. Oh, God. So now what you're doing, you're just bulking the head up a bit so yeah. for your silly eyes or your... Yeah, my tape on eyes. Tape eyes yeah. yeah. And again, the idea is keep it simple, right? Like make this so it doesn't take a whole lot of time to tie. It's more wrapping the thread than anything. So you guys are just out at uh, one of our local lakes in Permanent doing some fishing, having a good old time. But I'll tell you, dedicated as you are, Scotty, you still made it in here for Friday Night Flies, and we we applaud you for that. Hey, okay? die hard tire. You guys heading back out to the lake this evening? Yeah. 
after we're done this. We're going to go out and maybe go for a little fish. Okay, so now we're going to do our tape on eyes. We're going to put a little bit of glue on there. A little crazy glue? A dab? Yeah, and, and the nice thing about this is it's, in terms of building up the head and stuff, it's pretty fast because you're using the... Oh, come on. Think about crazy glue is it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm on stick here, baby. There stick you go. There you Good go. job. Okay, yeah. Now we'll turn it to the other side. Get that other one on there, hopefully. Yeah, right now that thing's a lefty or a righty, whatever, whichever way it's swimming upside down or right yeah. way up. <laughs> side heavy. Key is to not touch the glue. That's the key. Oh. Wow, that's your chance to fly. Hold on, hold her steady for a second. I'm just gonna zoom in on that a little bit. Show people what we're looking at. Okay, now that seconds. change that pattern completely. One hundred percent. And now we're doing some surgery. That looks that looks pretty sexy. Okay, that and just put a, I just put a little bit of super glue in behind. Lock it down. Yeah, let that go for a second. Meanwhile, we can trim it off at the back. How short do you usually cut that back? Like in some applications, would you leave it longer? You could. I mean, it, there's nothing saying it can't stay as long as it is right now. I mean, it's, it looks good like that. I mean, it, it depends on the size of your your fry that you're fishing. You yeah, know, like you gotta yeah. gotta do your homework prior yeah. to tying this pattern. But I mean, with the salmon fry right now in the permanent area, you're probably looking the better part. Well, there'll be smolts and fry, so the smolt would be about the size that 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 fly is right now, at about three three inch, um, and then the fry would be at about an inch and a half. So they're about half the size of that. So let's go with the inch and a half. Either way, well, well, I'll just. We'll leave it. We're waiting for the glue to dry. Okay, so now we're ready for the UV not sense. So basically, now that you got the super glue in there, lock it down. A little bit too much. That stuff is wicked for uh, for doing your knots, like nail knots, from leader to your fly line. Poke it. Okay. Would you put some on on the underside too? Or I'm gonna put it on. Yeah, just gotta get. I'm in vacation mode. I didn't. Not ready to go here. <laughs> All good, man. It's looking good. We'll cure that. So with the UV light, that's that secures it. Yeah. And cures it. How long do you have to use the uh, the light for? We'll quick kick them out. Um. Probably about a couple seconds, four or five seconds each. You know, get, like right now, I'm all I'm trying to do is just get the uh, the general shape of the head. Get rid of that. I leave it just because I've had them. The super glue and everything is going to hold it together. Why is this stuff it's so thick tonight? Yeah, you have a bobbin? Oh, that's the word. No. Just anything. Just yeah, that's what I need. Mean. The bodkin. Bodkin, sorry. Bodkin. And then just a little bit more in blue. Hold your hand in behind the fly for two seconds, and then we can get a focus on the fly. There you go. Perfect. That focuses.
to you. And it's basically basically dry. Wow, what a difference. Bomb proof. Yeah, we'll put one more little dab on the top. Maybe just walk through the pull process again. You started with the uh, dubbing. Yeah, with the dubbing. Wrap the shinny, or wrap the uh, tinsel on there. Get your body. Get your body. Yeah, and I mean you can do all sorts of bodies and stuff like that. You can go simpler. You can go. I mean, the essence of this fly here really is just in the the big eyes with the head and the uh, and the streamer material. The 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 super hair is just going to be really nice in the water. It glows. You can if you put if you put super glue on it. You said that's UV as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. That stuff is right, so changing the game, one hundred percent. There well, we go. That's a dynamite tie, there, Scotty. Sign us out, buddy. Okay. Well, this Friday night flies with uh, Chef Scotty Holmes with the uh, super hair UV minnow. It was a good little pattern. You can tie it with lots of colors. It's just uh, you know a few different steps, and there you go. Friday night flies. Keep the chrome wheels spinning. <laughs>